2 0 winner tonight away at Brightling Sea. Hinch must be happy with that. Yeah, it's uh, the old motorway performance, really. Four hours sat on a coach, um, got here with you know half hour till kick off, um, you know, limited warm up. Um, but we stuck to a sort of different game plan. It's not conducive to the type of football that we, we play at home. We had to put it into areas, win second balls, all the cliches come up today, throw the line. It was um, it was all about that today. But um, you know, big question mark whether we had the players to play that way and you know tonight proved with a few performances that we certainly have. Like you just said, it's a long journey up here, boys working all day. You'd think it'd be a slow start, but complete opposite tonight. Flew out. Uh, Ollie took his goal really well in the tenth minute. Were you surprised by that? Yeah, it was a, it was a great finish from Ollie. Um, you know, he's got he's got that in around the box. We need to get him in around the box more often, and um, you know, just great technique on the on the left foot strike there to, to get that much power in it. Um, with his uh, weak foot was was exceptional. Um, yeah, really pleased with the start we made. Um, it was something we have to look at. Uh, you know, having less of a warm up because we seem to start well when we have uh, not much of a warm up. But um, no, yeah, full credit to the players. Like I say, they, they give up a lot of time. You know, some of them straight from school or work and that to, to come and give up their time um, early to come and uh, be a part of it today. And um, you know, full, full credit to them, and they've been glad that they got what they deserve. You started with Alex Parson in the middle tonight. What do you see in there? Do you see a lot of value with his aggressiveness, his athleticism in the middle there? Yeah, just with um, Zach, uh, you know, and Ricky, you got some energy at the top of the pitch. Um, to really go press, and at times we turned it over and uh, looked threatening um, up there. And you know you got Zach causing problems off the shoulder. If he timed his runs a bit better today, he could have got in a, a few more times. And um, no, yeah, it seemed, it seemed to work well. It was quite a, quite a solid sort of shape that we're, we're working from now. Um, so really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, a clean sheets really important. That man Jalen Jones found himself another goal tonight, 70th minute. Uh, must he's sliding into the team perfectly at the moment? Yeah, um, lots of. It was probably the sort of ultimate second half performance. You know, you defended doggedly, um, limited them to very little, although they had a lot of the ball. Um, and then you sort of, when you get set pieces, you've got to go and take them. And that's what we've done, you know, with, with his sort of aerial presence that he's got. Um, you know, we should be scoring a lot of goals. And um, yeah, delighted for him. He's, he's, he's come in, he, he trained with us for a couple of weeks, but, you know, since he's been in playing, um, we slotted in uh, perfectly. And yeah, there's been a sort of, a lot of criticism um, labelled at the um, squad and stuff in the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'm really pleased that they got their just deserves today. I don't think we got that on Saturday. It was a good performance. We didn't get, quite get the uh, rubber to green on Saturday in my eyes. Um, um, so I'm pleased that, you know, this, this victory puts us back up in the playoff mix. You look at a few of our last uh, away performances, Margate and then Leverhead, we go 1-0 up and then we end up leaving with nothing. Were you a lot happier with the defensive side of the play today? Yeah, definitely. I thought in particular Joel today was, was class. Um, I was on his case at um, Dorking at home because I know this is the kind of performance he can, he can produce. Um, and if he produces them like this, he's one of the best centre-halves in the league, in my opinion. Um, so that's why I'm on his case. Um, and I was at Dorking, probably a bit harsh on him. Um, but I know that this is the level that he can get to and play at. And, you know, delighted, delighted for him. Billy again, you know, second game in, he's been, you know, solid. I thought his brother was a, a, a solid player, but flipping it, he's come in and been, been immense for us. Um, and just having that flexibility then, you know, with Craney back in, allows Alex Parsons to go higher and, and give us some legs up the top of the pitch. Enfield come to Woodside on Saturday. What does this do for our confidence going into a big, a big home fixture? Yeah, um, I said all along, like, if you get um, a young group and they're on a run of bad results, um, you know, the confidence can dwindle quite quickly. But going the other way, if you can get one or two victories together, um, you know, the confidence can soon shoot high. Um, and I'm, I'm pleased for them because I think we didn't deserve to lose on Saturday, in my opinion. Um, so I'm pleased that they got their awards tonight. And like I say, hopefully we can, we can build on it and... Uh, you know, play with a lot of confidence Saturday. I know you want to get off, but one last thing, we didn't catch up after the Levere game. Jasper, he's come through OK? Yeah, he's, he's fine, yeah. He's um, back in, we had a sort of education boys in yesterday and he's in dying to get involved. So uh, that, was, that was, yeah, great news, great to see. And uh, I think it'll still be a couple of weeks, you know, we've got to play that one. It's not like a kick on the calf. Uh, you know, we've got to be sensible with him, um, but I'm sure he'll be itching to get back involved. Cheers, Mitch. Cheers. Nice one. Right. Hello. See you.